Welcome to the Board Game Bar, where we make drinks that pair with the games on your table. In this video, we're going to be making the Smoking Gimlet, a drink made specifically to pair with Flashpoint. Flashpoint is a cooperative game where your firefighters trying to overcome the powerful flames and smoke of a burning building and trying to work together to save that building, or more accurately, the people within there. So let's jump into it. So let's start making the smoking gimlet. So we are going to shake the drink, so I'm going to be putting it into a, a shaker. Um, we're going to have two shots of a chili ginger gin. You can just use a normal gin. I'm choosing the chili and ginger because it really brings that flavor forward. We're in a fire environment. We want to kind of emulate that as well. So then we have one shot of lime. So the lime really is going to punch through and give us that sour effect. So normally we would actually have half a shot of sugar syrup, but we're, because we're using the pepperberry sugar syrup, we actually want to get a little bit more of that flavor in there. So this pepperberry syrup is from Melbourne Bush Food, who are actually a plant supplier, but they've actually made this sugar syrup specifically to show off the pepperberry flavors. So we're going to do 0.7, or in this instance, because I'm pouring, I'm going to be pouring 20 ml in there, as well as a bit of spillage. It's on brand for me right now. We're then gonna pour that into our shaker, close it up and give it a nice shake. We're gonna pour this into a low ball glass. So once we've got that drink ready, grab a strainer. I don't think you need to double strain this drink. Realistically, having those little bits of ice in there kind of give it that little bit. We're then gonna smoke the drink. So this is a specific smoker. So we're using some cherry wood wood chips. We just pour a little into that bowl or receptacle, and then we're gonna burn it. So this is a, I wouldn't call it a special smoker, but this is a smoker you can get online. Um, I quite enjoy this smoker because what's going to happen is the heat from the top um, is actually going to draw down the smoke from the cool air outside into the hot air inside. So putting the smoke in, give it a nice little turn. You can actually turn your flame around if you wanted to as well, but I find turning the actual cylinder itself quite useful. So once we're ready, we're going to quickly cap that off and that will actually get all of the smoke down into the glass. So that is the smoking gimlet. Give it a try. Right, okay. So it is a standard gimlet. We have changed Ooh, out the... Smoky boy. Yeah, we've changed out the syrup for a pepperberry syrup, which is still a sugar syrup, but it is obviously heavy on the pepperberry. And then we've mm. smoked it. So the cherry wood really does kind of play into the aroma. You really get a lot of the, the smoke on the, the smell, not so much in the taste. Mm. I think if you have a, this is a very good home smoker. I don't know if you work at a restaurant or something, they've got sort of like much stronger ones. They'll probably infuse the smoke flavor into the drink a fair bit more, but it's quite sour, but quite nicely balanced. Mm. That pepperberry does <clears throat> really kind of shine through. Yeah. Um, pepperberry is available online. You can get it um, from their store. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how good delivery will be overseas. We are Melbourne based and they are Melbourne based. So delivery is pretty, pretty good for us. Um, but I, I find that that pepperberry kind of, a normal sugar syrup probably wouldn't have the same kind of, it blends well with the smokiness. Yeah, it does. So I think within a normal uh, gimlet, if you're using a straight gin and you're using a straight sugar syrup, I, it's good and I do like them. But I find it's going it to be a bit more one-dimensional. One-dimensional, yeah, for sure. This has a lot more with the the the, the chili and the ginger um, botanical gin, as well as the pepperberry. We're getting a lot more from it. And then once you smoke that, I think if you smoked a normal gimlet, you actually probably not not going to get as much from it. So no. trying to find a gin that's um, quite good in terms of having the botanicals as well as the extra flavors, um, and then a syrup that kind of enhances that. And if, if you're you, smoking it, yeah. And if you can't get like a Chilean Ginger gin, 
Put some of that into your sugar syrup and then see if you can find a gin that's got pepperberry in it or sort of that, a gin that's got those sort of earthy notes. And then you can sort of get a similar result with like a chili sugar syrup or a ginger sugar syrup or both. Yeah. And Flashpoint is basically pandemic with firefighters. Um, so this is a drink a that... A bit I, less stressful. Uh, yeah, a lot less stressful. Oh, I know. There are some expansions that make it very okay. stressful, but... I think the base game of it, um, if you're playing with your family, you probably don't have a drink, for sure. But if you are playing with friends and they're of age, um, having that smoking gimlet, I reckon, is just such a great addition to it. Absolutely. It will actually play out, I think you have one for a game. Um, it's not going to be one that you have multiple in a game, um, but you can have multiple of these in a night. So once you've finished your first game, going on to the second game, quickly making one an extra one in between is going to be perfect. <laughs> So that is the smoking gimlet, Delicious. a drink made specifically for Flashpoint. We actually play this game live on Twitch and those videos are uploaded to YouTube after as well. Check us out on all the social media channels and we also have an app at app.gamesnight.fun where you can actually manage your game collection and really just have fun with board games. Thanks for joining us in this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Craig. So, no, don't start with so. <laughs>